Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's time for the Retro Toy Rewind. With the looming San Diego Comic Con 2015 exclusive from NECA Toys, I thought it might be fun to go back in time to take a look at the Terminator 2 Endo Glow Terminator from Kenner Toys. Man, do I love these old Kenner Toys figures. They're so much fun. They're so wacky with all the colors and the features. But seriously, that's the thing that I love about them. And how can you hate a T-800 that glows in the dark? Let's check this guy out. As you can see, he comes in some pretty fantastic packaging, featuring some really great artwork in the background of the T-800, where you can see a half-human face and a half-endoskeleton there. And up in the top right corner, we even have some cool little artwork of our Endo Glow Terminator, all glowing in his glory there. And when you flip that card back around to the back side, up on the top right corner, we get a look at some of the action features with this particular figure. And below that, we get a very colorful chart showing all of the figures in the Kenner Terminator 2 lineup. Haha, <laughs> such memories. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this figure opened up and take a look at him. Of course, like all of these figures from Kenner Toys, it is in the 5-inch scale. And if you had the standard T-800 in this line, the silver one, you will notice it is a shared sculpt. Because why not? Kenner did that a lot. They oftentimes did share sculpts in many of their lines, like Predator and here with Terminator, and they just kind of repainted them or gave them new features. In this case, Endo Glow, meaning that he's got a cool glow-in-the-dark feature. But I think that the paint job is actually really unique on this guy. Because if you notice, he is kind of molded in this glow-in-the-dark plastic, but the majority of the figure has this dark black frosting all over it that almost completely covers the figure and makes him mostly black. In fact, the only areas on this figure that aren't black are the chest, the hips, the thighs, and then the eyes in the skull. In those areas, you can still see the glow-in-the-dark colors. That kind of continues along the side of the figure here, kind of just on the hips and the upper legs, and a bit on the shoulders. But most of the figure is frosted with that black paint. It actually makes for a pretty cool and unique looking endoskeleton, and on top of that, when we look at the glow-in-the-dark feature, which we're going to in just a bit, it actually creates a pretty unique glow-in-the-dark effect. So, as far as the articulation goes on these guys, it is pretty standard, but it's normal for the time. Now, the head doesn't actually turn. It's because of the way that the neck is sculpted, you couldn't rotate the head. He does have your standard joints at the shoulders, allowing the arms to move up and down. But one of the things that I really like is that you can actually see the joints kind of coming through the chest. So, it turns with the arm. It's actually a really unique little effect there. He also includes elbow bends, which is something pretty cool for figures at the time. Then he swivels at the waist, and he does have these great kind of uh, rubberized joints, or it's a little bit of a softer plastic here on the rods that kind of attach his upper torso with his hips. So when you rotate his hips there, you'll notice that it just kind of flexes and bends with it. So that's actually pretty cool. Then the legs just move forwards and backwards. There's no actual joints at the knees. But I do love all of the sculpted details on these guys, and obviously the proportions are a little off. They're a little squat looking. It was very standard for the release, but the details are pretty nice on here. Really great sculpt, and honestly, does a pretty good job of looking like the T-800s, albeit with a crazy paint job. So before we get into his glow-in-the-dark feature, we gotta talk about that wacky weapon. Because it wouldn't be a Kenner action figure without a crazy, oversized weapon with a projectile. And this particular figure comes with this really crazy large cannon. It's a flamethrower weapon that is black and a bright neon orange in color. And you'll see it's got this kind of neon orange flame rocket that's sticking out of the front. Now it's got this little clip, so the way that this works is you'll actually clip it on the endoskeleton's forearm, kind of just like that. It also rests on his shoulder, and surprisingly you can get him to stand while holding it pretty well, which is pretty sweet. And then you'll see he's just got the big button up here at the top, so when we press that button, boom, he fires off his projectile missile, and that sucker goes flying. It's pretty awesome. All right. So we got that big flamethrower out of the way, we talked about the look, we talked about the articulation, and now it's time to talk about what you guys all want to see, 
and that is the glow in the dark feature. So when you turn the lights off, and especially if you've got a cool black light to really amp it up, the glow feature is pretty cool. Now, like I said, with all of that black paint on there, it really makes the glow in the dark feature unique because the only parts of this guy that are really glowing through are the legs, the hips, that spot on his chest, and the eyes, with a few more places kind of peeking out underneath the paint here and there. It's a pretty cool effect, especially the way his eyes are glowing like that. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Kenner Toys Endo Glow Terminator. This is an awesome retro figure. I'm a huge fan of all of the stuff that Kenner did in this era. It's just so fun and really has that cool nostalgic feel for me. And I think it's pretty sweet that NECA Toys is continuing that trend of kind of updating these classic repaints and wacky color variations into their lineup. So expect me to be taking a look at that version here soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, my friends. Thank you.